Hi, and welcome to the channel. Today I want to go through how to add a Philips U light in the new UI. Um, there are a few changes to how things are done. So we have a, a color spot here, um, geotin bulb, and that is connected to my Philips U hub already. Um, everything has been set up there and we will then now go to to add this to our open app installation so uh, go to settings go to things the first thing obviously is the u hub here the u office is there um there i have multiple hubs i haven't added the other ones yet so if i go in here and i find um let's see you uh, so here are the, the other hubs and I can just basically add them uh, later on. I obviously have to push the button on the U-Hub every time I do that. Uh, so I haven't bothered with that yet. Um, so what we do is we want to add another device. And um, what we do is we'll find uh, the office uh, lamp. Office, 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 office. Actually, uh, I don't think this lamp here is in here yet. So we go and we go to plus, um, and then we go to U binding, and then we do a scan. Now that will refresh all the devices that are on all the U hubs that you would have in the system. And this is called la lamp, um, lamp office. So there's two, three, one, three, one. Mm. I'm pretty sure that this was number six not there. Interesting. So it doesn't seem to have discovered all of them. Um, let's see here. I probably have too many in the inbox and that's why it does that. So what we do instead is we find office uh, and that is a room. Okay, find this. That's all the lights in the office. That will that will do the same trick. So so that item is then added. Um. And we have here lights office. So that's it. We've jumped back to in our things. And we have lights office, and that's a U group. That's a group for the entire office. And this is a nice thing that came in in OpenHub 255 is that they added the rooms and the zones also as light devices so that you didn't have to add every single light, or at least not configure the, the items for those. So we click in here get rid of that um, and then we go to our channels so we have a, uh, a power switch uh, we have color temperature we have brightness we have color and we have scene the, the scene object is only on zones and um, and rooms uh, that's quite handy so start here add link to item create a new item that's the uh, lights office power so um, I'll call that office office lights it's basically office lights and that's switch link okay and I can click here and we can actually switch the lights off now it's dark and back on again so that works great um, back to our safe, uh, back to our device, we then want the brightness, 
um, add the link to item, create brightness, dimmer, the defaults work. Um, oh, we want to name this uh, office, office lights. So, uh, link, same thing here. Uh, we have a dimmer, we can now go and we can dim this up and we can dim this back down again. So that works, great. Uh, next thing is uh, lights of this channel. Uh, next thing is the color temperature. Also this is, let's see here, office lights, color temperature link in here and we go to cold or to warm yeah, and safe and last but not least uh, we want color um, we can st uh, st uh, scene I won't basically be setting up this time around so create an item um, that's a color profile color link this one is a bit more tricky because oh no that actually worked um, I have seen scenarios where you have to add uh, your own meta uh, uh, that's in the uh, that will become under the be to to MQTT we'll change the color here And that changed, didn't change to blue. Oh yeah, it did. And we'll go back down to let's see. Okay, there is an issue with this. So what we do is we'll go and um, I'll go in the U hub real quick. Um, so, change the color there, and now I should be able to set this to. So that works too, um, and that's basically uh, uh, all our uh, items for the slide set up. Um, they can be found here in the items. So uh, office lights, office lights brightness, office lights color, and the color temperature. So the next thing that we do is we go over and we start a, a home habit, um, edit this dashboard, and uh, first of all, uh, we want a widget um, on off switch, um, and we don't give this a name really. Um, then we bind an item, and that's the office lights power. Uh, yeah, save that. Lights off back on okay then we want a uh, dimmer so explore which is no go the other way around select an item oh too fast um, office Lights, brightness, dimmer. 
Uh, no. Doesn't work that way. Okay. We take widget. And the dinner. Exactly. And the item that we want is the slides brightness. Safe. Dimness down. Dimness up. Great. Um, then we add another one here. Explore widgets, find the dimmer, find an item, offset color, color, color temperature, save that, and we can go to warm. That's good. And um, the same here, you can with um, open up, you can create, which we will go up here and do this. And we create a wider one. So select, actually, no, yeah. The slides color. about those two at we want a want a something more red there there was something really red red and forget that one at give me something uh, green dark green yeah and we want a blue Royal blue and um, something orangey, dark orange, and um, an orange red. Safe. Okay, so that should do the trick there. And that's how simple it is to set up uh, U lights in OpenHub. Um, and, and then control them with something like HomeHub. Okay, thank you.